Guyana and Jamaica have done it, and now the Prime Minister is inviting international observers to monitor the upcoming general elections here. In this report, hear what the Prime Minister had to say about that decision and about the launch of absentee voting in the Bahamas. Here's Altavis Munnings. Election observation is a method by which the transparency of an election can be ensured. Neutral, independent, and conscientious observation of the electoral process can also help ensure the credibility and impartiality of all elections. Election observation is not concerned with any particular election result, but is concerned with electoral outcomes only to the degree that they are reported honestly and accurately. And now, for the first time in the Bahamas, an invitation is extended to international National election observers for the 2012 general elections. Where is the OAS? Where is the United States of America? Where is the UN? Whoever monitors elections, the Jimmy Carter group, whoever monitors the elections in the world, if they want to come to the Bahamas to see how the election is done, they can come because we're going to have an open and a fair and transparent process. And so we are taking time to make sure that the election procedures and things that need to be done are done prior to calling an election. So far, 143,000 residents have registered to vote. And whenever the election date is announced, the Prime Minister will make sure that everyone is ready. It is unthinkable, as happened the last time, for the Parliamentary Commissioner to hear the House Assembly dissolved by an announcement on the radio. The first thing the Prime Minister does is to find out how are we with respect to the preparation for the election? What else do you need to do? etc etc once we are satisfied all those things are done then we fix dates we don't fix dates because we wake up one morning and say let's go the parliamentary commissioner recently addressed the issue of overseas voters saying many students and others abroad registered during the holidays well here's what the prime minister said about the matter on wednesday we would have been to to miami and uh, miami would have had um, representatives from atlanta washington and new york so that the parliamentary commissioner could have explained to all of them how it's done. We will, we will then be going to Canada, um, and uh, I think that London has already been done, I'm not sure. Um, we have to make a little tweak in our law to accommodate um, um, the situation with students in Jamaica, Barbados, and Trinidad, because the way we wrote the law, um, it only permits it to happen at a place where we have a mission. Um, and we don't have a mission in either those, any of those places, and so we have to treat the law to be able to accommodate it. Prime Minister Ingram quoted a recent report of a Jamaican national possessing a passport and voter's card and anticipating charges to be filed against that individual soon. In the meantime, the Prime Minister is again encouraging all qualified citizens to register to vote at their earliest opportunity. Altafiz Munnings, Saturnus News.